Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. It's a joy to be here uh, with you this week as we continue our uh, devotionals uh, on the forgiving challenge. Uh, we're making our way through the forgiving, uh, forgiving challenge uh, this week with the theme of restoration. If you've been reading along uh, the book by Pastor Zach Zender, um, you know that uh, uh, the 89th chapter of the the Gospels, uh, other words, John chapter 21, uh, literally the last chapter in the four Gospels, um, he spends a lot of time, uh, especially on the conversation, um, this is after Easter, after the resurrection, that uh, Jesus spends time with Peter and um, especially in their, their situation where they were fishing and then having breakfast along the shore. Um, but Jesus asked Peter uh, three questions. Basically, it's the same question that he asked three different times. If you uh, were growing up and your mother used your full name, for, for me, uh, Andrew James Howe, um, that generally wasn't a good thing. Um, definitely caught your attention, but if you think about it, uh, significant ha- things happen uh, when our n- full names are used. In baptism, we do first, middle, and last. When we uh, graduate from a school or a training program, uh, generally on a diploma or a licensure, uh, there's going to be your, your full name. On a birth certificate is your full name. Um, there's, uh, on a wedding certificate is your full name. And even for ladies, their, their maiden name. But Jesus says this in the gospel of John chapter 21, Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to Peter, feed my lambs. Again, he said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Scholars probably, as anybody else who studied this text, uh, by the third time, um, uh, you probably could, could understand that Peter would be frustrated, with the exception of understanding Peter's story. This week is all about restoration. If we understand uh, the theme of restoration, especially studying this text, that we know how important this is for Peter and for us. Go back to the courtyard. Remember when Jesus was put on trial? Remember how Jesus was, um, uh, he, he had uh, prophesied that Peter would deny him three times. And Peter said that he wouldn't do that. But yet it happened. And the guilt and the shame, and the, as, G, as Peter left after that third time, he goes outside and he wept bitterly. But even this text in chapter 21, as Pastor Zender calls the 89th Gospel, the last chapter of the four gospel writers. Jesus asks the same question three different times. Simon, son of John. Simon, son of John, his full name. Do you love me? And it's at that moment that probably the third time, just like the third time that Peter wept bitterly out in the courtyard, or as he fled the courtyard, Peter reconciles and understands what Jesus is doing out of grace and forgiveness is he's restoring Peter. Jesus would restore Peter to go on and be one of the great uh, New Testament preachers and and writers, along with the Apostle Paul and uh, James and and John and and, uh, um, obviously the writer of the Hebrews. But Peter was restored as a child of God, Simon, son of John, do you love me? What is your name? Do you love Jesus? The answer is probably yes if you're watching this. 
as you love Jesus, go and live as restored children of God, laying your sins at the feet of Jesus, knowing that he has died for all your sins, for all the times where we could easily say, Simon, son of John. But now it's Simon, son of John, as you love me, as you're going, go and feed my sheep. The same is true for us. As we live our lives, we lay our sins at Jesus' feet, knowing that he has conquered sin, death, and the power of the devil. And we live restored, in a restored relationship. What was once broken is now redeemed and reconciled and restored in the love and grace of Jesus. Let's go today as restored children, loved by our Heavenly Father, redeemed by His only Son, Jesus Christ. Will you join me in a word of prayer? Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank and praise you for restoring Peter and restoring all of us, even when we fall short of your glory and your expectations, that you sent Jesus Christ into the world to die for all our sins. Send your Holy Spirit into our lives to help us live as your redeemed and restored children. And when we do fall and fail, may we forever be led to repentance, to receive your absolution, your forgiveness, but also to remember we are your restored children, living lives of service and purpose to give your name glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ.